Hi, everyone. It's Hello. September 21st, Tuesday, and here we are again at the Chaos Weekly Community Call. Hope everybody's doing all right. Here are the minutes. Oh, someone else just posted them. Thank you, Matt G. Um, yes. Uh, let me figure out if I can. Is the live transcription working for people? I think it I'm is not working. See, I'm not seeing it yet, but. Yep, I'm seeing it. You might have to enable it individually. Okay. That's true. I was able to enable mine too. And that is actually the first item on our agenda today is to talk about this. So um, we figured out, actually Ruth, I think, figured out, or she brought it to the attention of a, a, one of the DEI badging meetings that this was an option now for Zoom, that we can enable the live transcripts to happen at the bottom of the screen. So um, we're going to try to do that for every meeting. Um, it's helpful for, uh, for everybody, really. So maybe a little distracting until you get used to it, but um, it seems to be doing a pretty good job. So um, it will, you know, kind of self-correct based on the context of your sentence, which is cool. And um, hopefully that will be helpful for people who are, are joining us. Um, yeah. So uh, if you would like to enable that, it's at the bottom, I believe, of your Zoom screen. There should be a little button that says CC and then live transcript under that. So that is a thing that we have now. Does it show up on the recordings? Have you looked? Uh, that's a great question. I have not really looked. I usually only watch the first few bits to see what meeting it is. Uh, but I would go back and, and look. My recollection is it's a file that gets downloaded if the person who's running the meeting turns it on. But like as it records the screen here, I was wondering if it records oh. like that little part that's well, black. Oh, yeah, that I don't know. Yeah. I will look into that for you. Because I'm curious about that as well. Thanks. So, all right. We have, i um, just going to share. Uh, we have um, a, a tight agenda today. We have a lot to talk about. And this is our last meeting for the ChaosCon planning committee before ChaosCon. So um, we're going to cut it short um, at, a, at a half past if we can. Um, so forgive me if I speak quickly today, but we already went through the live captioning. Does anybody have questions about that? The only thing that actually we are not sure about is if it costs anything, which I guess someone will tell us if it does later on, but for now we're gonna use it. So yeah, it would be money well spent anyway. So, Okay, the next item is to talk about the meetings for next week. What does the community wanna do with those meetings since a, a lot of us are gonna be kind of um, you know, out at, in Seattle or, or doing other things. So um, do we want to cancel them? Do we want to try to keep running them? What do we want to do? I think historically we've canceled them. I think that makes the most sense. Does anyone have any objection to canceling for the week? I really, I honestly, if I can remember back to a year and a half ago, I really think that's what we always do. Yeah. Um, on these on these weeks yep that's what i remember as well awesome then that sounds like decision made yes i can want me to pull them off the calendar oh yeah that'd be great if you want to yep, i'll do that. that that will make it more straightforward and i will do a newsletter um next monday and i'll put that in the newsletter as well and we can um maybe tweet about that as well too so let me just. Uh, do, that, do you, you want me to pull the badging outreach stuff on there? Do you want me to pull that too? There's the badging meetings. Do we want to pull them, or do we just want to change the title to reflect that? Uh, I could suspending them. Title. Yeah, I'll do that, and then Matt can too. Yeah, we've been talking about it. I think pretty much everybody that goes to badging is going to have some involvement, so. So keep them on, keep them on. No, no, no. Uh, we'll have to cancel them because a lot of people are going to be involved in the conferences and going and stuff like that. Okay, no problem. So I think that's it. I only see next week, I only see five, seven. So it's not that many. 
Only seven. Only seven. <laughs> so many, so many meetings. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. We'll do that. Um, I uh, okay. So I think we're good to move on. Unless anyone has any questions, comments, anything else. All right, well, let's move on. Um, the Chaos Con schedule is released. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Um, you can see a link to the full schedule there in the minutes right here. So take a peek at that if you're curious to see it. And we will have a mix of pre recorded and in person talks to try to you know, keep uh, both everything kind of uh, flowing nicely. And we also will be live streaming this on our YouTube channel. Um, we don't have a direct link to the, the stream yet, but uh, we will be tweeting that, put in Slack. You know, if, if we have it in time for the newsletter on Monday, we'll put it in there. Um, so just kind of keep your eyes open for that as well. Um, and that is there. Uh, there was a question about this before. There is no registration for that, and it is free. So if you are uh, watching virtually, just join us. You don't have to register or anything like that. Um, I have a question about it actually, though. Uh, do we have a mechanism for people to engage with us? in real time or should people leave comments or slack or like what would we what do we want to communicate to the community um, of, as a way to like keep engaged with us while we are we're on, in person if they're virtual i guess technically i mean if we're if we're live streaming on youtube that mechanism is already in place in youtube to collect comments and live chat so it's probably just a matter of having someone monitor the chat uh, and uh, I think uh, Matt Cantu are is the are you're you're overseeing the uh, the streaming, right? Correct. So, is there some sort of setup that we could get done uh, for that so that we can get the link on the website and maybe do a dry run? Yeah, I think I might need month? access to the Chaos YouTube account, whatever that is, uh, or or help from someone with access to the Chaos YouTube account. You can uh, make it so that it premieres in the future on YouTube. Um, Matt, I have access. I will try to add you if I can figure that out. Okay, uh, Sounds like a brand account or something. Okay, perfect. And then um, as far as someone monitoring that, um, I'm happy to do that. Uh, that would also be, be me. Oh, okay. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. No, no, that's that's perfect. I was going to say there because I have to, I'm giving a, a talk with Kevin. So during that, I won't be able to <laughs> monitor it. But um, yeah, so we can do it together. That'd be great, Matt. Um, one other question that came up was this uh, slides in advance. I understand that in the past we've kind of required speakers to provide their slides in advance so we can post them. Is that something we want to do again? Or if so, like what day? And are people prepared to do that? <laughs> are we ready to do that? How do we want to handle that? I think it would be good to have them by sometime before OSSNA starts or the first day that OSSNA starts just it helps it does help us to have them in advance and share them with people when I was collecting and uploading them I asked for them to be sent the night before or the evening before and then I uploaded them uh, the day before basically and then, of course, not everyone has them ready. So some of them I wouldn't get until the day of the conference, and I just upload them real quick. But that's how, how we've handled it, I think, in Brussels last year. Yeah, I mean, I assume people will be working on him, working on slides if they're there until, like, last minute, right? So, I mean, first day of the event itself might be a little ambitious give them day or two to continue tweaking their slides, so. Yeah, sounds reasonable to me. No, yeah, that, that's, that sounds good. The question is who is collecting them and uploading them to the website?
are you asking for a volunteer or are we just uh, having a philosophical discussion about that? I think he's asking for a volunteer. I don't I don't think it's a philosophical discussion. No, it's, that's what I'm hearing. Okay. It's a practical question. Uh, so I, I can upload them to the website. Uh, perhaps we can have uh, uh, either uh, uh, Ray or uh, Sophia send the email requesting them, though. Uh, I can upload them since I'll not be in person. So I, I'll be monitoring the entire event from like virtually. So if you need any help with the Slack or other things, I'm available. Done. It's you. It's all you. You take it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to be there in person, but uh, yeah, I mean, Sophie and I could ping people uh, that are going to be there to I guess it would be even odd to send the slides to to you. Or... Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Vinod. And thank you, Ray, Sophia, for yeah. reaching out to speakers. Yeah. And also in general, like uh, since I'm here live, so if any, if you need any kind of help in like uh, on a virtual side, I'm available for the entire conference. Thank you for that, Vinod. All right, um, so who has questions about the ChaosCon schedule or ChaosCon in general? Uh, I just have one thing, it's for Kevin or Matt. Are you, can you come by, can we find a time this week that you could come by and pick up some of these lunch pails? Because we need to, I think you're going to need to check a bag and I still don't have the t-shirts and hoping to have them this week and I'll, if they come late, I'll just check a bag with the t-shirts, but together we can get all this stuff there. I can also offer my suitcase. Okay, thanks. I'll be I by can... later today. I'll pick up whatever's needed for me. Okay, thanks. Matt. I, can, thanks, I can come by today as well, if you'd like. Uh, yeah, I have to head out about one o'clock. So after this meeting, I'll just head over there. How about that? Oh, yeah, I guess you're close. Okay, thanks. Teamwork makes the dream work. Thanks, you guys, for handling all that. Okay, any other questions anybody has about the schedule? For ChaosCon? We do have a Slack channel for ChaosCon specifically, if you are going to attend or if you are going to attend virtually and you want to hang out with the crew, um, it is just, it's on our regular Chaos uh, Slack, but it's called ChaosCon, imagine. So you can search for it if you don't see it or if you want someone to invite you to it, um, just put something in general, we'll, we'll make sure you get in there. All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and move on. We're doing great. Thank you, everybody. Um, the next one, we just want to mention chaos was in the news on a on opensource.com article um, because the RIT team has built a project called Mystic, which is based primarily on Grimoire Lab data. And it's a really great article. Um, and they're doing something that no, uh, no university is really doing. So um, it's very, very cool. You should look at this link right here and read that. Um, they'll also be talking about that at ChaosCon and they have a, a slot in the schedule. So super interesting stuff. And um, it's good, you know, it's good promotion for chaos as well. So it's really, it's really nice to see stuff in the wild that people are using and, and uh, that's making things better. So yeah. Georg, is there anything to add to that? Or is that pretty much it? Uh, no, it's, I think what they are doing at Open at IRT is really interesting, taking our chaos software, the Grimoire Lab tool suite, building a new user interface for it. And they're also working with IEEE SA Open and using their platform. And I think it's a really nice combination of different tools. And they've been very, very engaged with chaos. Like Stephen Jacobs has been joining several working group calls. And so, yeah, I'm just super happy how, how we are having 
chaos as a community is having an impact here to shape what they're doing. I did just drop in the chat, right? We do have a media page, which is, I think, Georg, didn't you put that together a long time ago? But just kind nice. of captures all open source or all open source, all, all chaos things. Yes, I maintain that. Do you maintain it like personally or? Oh, you have a you have a little thing that pings you and then you add it. Whenever I hear about something, I'll add it there. Yes. Okay. And um, we are going to start adding those to the newsletter as well as they crop up. Georg's going to let me know and we'll add in the newsletter too, just to make cool. sure everybody sees that. Because it's cool and we're awesome. So there you go. Uh, any questions, comments, anything else to add before we move on? So at least from my world, I think the OSPOs in universities is starting to build good momentum Yeah, and starting to have a lot of interest by not just like folks at RIT or Johns Hopkins. Um, I think there's a lot of interest in how software plays a role in the academic process and how we can recognize the work that academics do in producing software as part of their whole <laughs> like tenure and promotion process and just part of their recognition process. So I think OSPOs are starting to play a really important role in that, not hospitals. <laughs> missed okay, the so the live, the live captioning isn't quite uh, perfect. <laughs> so you have to oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a whole new, a whole new world for us is to be in the hospital. Um, yeah, and also uh, as an aside, Georg just dropped in chat another mention of chaos at, at opensource.com. I haven't had a chance to read that yet, but um, it's about chaos as well, so. We can put that in the minutes too, if we want to do that. Um, and I'll, Georg, I'll add that to the next newsletter. Awesome, thank, thank you. you. This is this is something that we were discussing on the mailing list about leaderboards. And then there's also the panel discussion at the Open Source Summit about leaderboards. Um, so this article summarizes some thoughts and some discussions we've had around it. And yeah. We'll take it from there and advance the conversation. Sounds good. Thanks, Georg. All right. Um, we have seven minutes left, and we have um, <clears throat> two things on here that are kind of chunky topics, but they're not like easy things. So I, I wanted to mention them, though, just so they're kind of on people's minds. And I don't know uh, if other people have other thoughts about speaking about these things right now, but um, I feel like they're gonna be long discussions and I don't wanna rush them because they're important. Um, so the first one is uh, the DEI council or a team of some sort. Um, it, it's come up a few times and it, basically what, what the purpose of it would be would be to handle DEI topics and work within the chaos project itself. Um, we have talked about this in the DEI working group as well and with the DEI reflection team, um, but we decided that it's not really the DEI working group's task to um, also address DEI issues within the chaos project. Um, just, you know, for an example, we don't ask the risk group to also look at risk within chaos project. So it would be kind of like an extra burden that we would be laying on their feet. So or on their shoulders. So um, we just wanted to kind of bring that up and, and just see uh, how people are feeling about that. And like, I don't know, um, you know, just get a get a general feel. And Matt G, you can, of, of course, add uh, whatever your thoughts are on this as well. No, I think you got it spot on. You described it exactly like it is. And, and I, I mean, maybe the only other thing I'd add to is the, the DEI reflection team is also not doing the implementation. They have a series of suggestions that they've been making, um, but that that is coming to an end here relatively soon. So that would not be the team either. So, um, you know, as an, as an action item for everybody on this call and in the community, maybe um, just kind of think about how that could work and like, 
who would be on that team and how we would um, how we we would appoint people to be on that team. And we're kind of envisioning things like um, you know just uh, implement a implementing suggestions that come from this DEI reflection. Um, other things that could be uh, something that the team works on would be maybe like onboarding or you know just reviewing our policies and procedures occasionally um doing a survey of the community periodically like things like that that um really nobody owns quote unquote right now so um just think about it i'm almost wondering if it could you know just be part of number six that's what that's what i was just gonna say it's it sounds like it's part of operations and kind of the, the governance of the project. So I would think that that same team should be able to handle uh, those tasks. Yeah. And, and actually, I believe that, that that number six also came up in the same conversation. So that's that makes perfect sense. Um, uh, Justin was the one, Justin Flory brought this up, that uh, Fedora has a community operations team, which, um, you know, we had also been or we thought was maybe a really good idea for us um, to work on things that would be, you know, appropriate for the chaos group as a whole, or project as a whole, things like standardizing, like Ritik and Yash have been doing, um, things that affect everybody, but don't belong to any certain working group. Um, so that's another item for you as an action item for the group is just to think about how that could work. And, and again, like what what that community operations team would be responsible for, or um, how we would, you know, appoint that group you know, all of those kinds of things, any thoughts you have, um, just kind of hang on to those, maybe jot them down somewhere and we'll bring them up after chaos con. I'm a huge fan of this. I really like it because I think it's needed in the community. Mm -hmm. uh, and I would like to nominate Yasha and Ritik to, yeah. to lead these efforts. I, I mean, they, they were so great in the Google Summer of Code in terms of getting a broad understanding of the chaos project and they both have mentioned they'd like to stay involved in the chaos project and i mean this is a it's a you know i guess a leadership perspective or a leadership role within the project to be leads of such a team i i would like to reach out to them and see if they have an interest it's a good idea Hundred percent agree. Yeah, I, I think that would be awesome. We see some thumbs up in chat as well. So, All right. um, yeah, I'll do that. Awesome. Um, I also see that Daniel has posted something in chat about um, chaos being supporter of the to do group. Daniel, do you want to talk a little bit about that? You'll, you have a couple minutes, not a ton, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> if it's going to yeah, be a bigger you. conversation, we can save it or we can get it out right now. Yeah, so, so this is just that I, I just learned that uh, the KF community is supporter of the to do group um, in, in the URL that you can see here in the in the chat. Um, I, I was not aware of this. So uh, uh, my, my main, the, the first thought I had was like, well, the to-do group is kind of using the, I mean, this is totally okay. The thing is that the to-do group is kind of using the branding of chaos, while no chaos member or participant can basically be part of the to-do group discussions initially, or, or at least used to be. So this sounds to me like a bit unfair. So I don't know if there is some ongoing discussions with this respect, that's all. But so I'm not aware I, was, of, so. I was talking with Anna, the program, manager at the to-do group about this idea. And I haven't had a time to write it up and discuss it with the governing board in chaos. So this looks like the to-do group, she, she moved maybe a little bit faster than I was aware she was going to move. Okay. So this is a conversation that is not completed yet. So then, just to say, we are listed as supporter. I mean, the community of chaos is sub, uh, listed as partners of the to the group in the URL that we see there. Yeah. Thank you. I didn't know that. I just learned this like a few minutes ago, so that's the main reason I entered today. Sorry for being for being late, by the way. Done. 
Okay, so it looks like Garrick's already on top of that. And uh, if nobody else has any other comments about that, we can go ahead and end the normal meeting and chaos con peeps, please stick around so we can finish up any last minute stuff. Is that cool? Are we good? All right, let me stop sharing. And yeah, all right. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see some of you next week and um, either in person or virtually. And if you're traveling, travel safe and we will see you later. Have a great one. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Thanks, everyone.